Good evening and welcome here to the Hazy Crawford Stadium for the final matchup between Defence Force and Central FC in the First Citizens Cup. This evening we will feature a matchup of two teams who fought their way to the finals and really earned a spot as Central FC has a large contingent of supporters, not so much for the Defence Force, still a bunch of supporters pouring here. I'm Iran Chand and with me is Narada Wilson. Narada, good night. Hi, good night. It's a pleasure to be here. To see this fantastic finals that we're about to witness central fc versus defense force two great teams and it's a pleasure being with you guys tonight as well yes, from central fc would be very happy with you saying that they are young especially the captain today marvin <laughs> oliver who's been around for quite some time jamaica williams but well. together they are young unit defense force probably have been together at least on average of three to four years some of the guys so i guess that's the difference between the two teams and we'll see which one will prevail indeed indeed Opening whistle there. Versus final, contagious team. The defense force in the goal of blue kit, attacking the goal from north to south. Their captain by number 14, Corey Rivers. Seeing the formidable number nine is up front today for the defense force. He's back because he had missed a few games due to his military training. I think he was going up for a sergeant or a lance corporal exam. Oh, I actually didn't know that. I was yeah. wondering why he was out of the team. Yeah, so he was in training and he had the exams. And I think it's. Now we have the rhythm section starting. <laughs> That's the rhythm section for from Tuna Puna. This one's coming inside, headed away there. This is going to be going out of touch. The yes, out of touch for a corner kick here now. We're seeing Kevin Carter with the ball, a very fast winger. Puts it inside for Jocelyn. This is, is it to be a goal? Okay, and it's not. John Michael Williams there coming very in. Very good save from John Michael. Picked up by a defense force player. Yes, it is. Puts it back for Carter. Opens some space and tries a shot, but John Michael gets just, his hands on it. Just said it that they would have the John Michael would have his hands full in the back there and did nice to hold on to that one in the end. Yes. It's an interesting opportunity. And it goes to taken down. The referee sees no problem. Yeah, it was just thing, but no whistle being blown. Back the way of defense force here. Putting inside nicely pass Akim Benjamin there, trying to get it adjusted. See the ball force for Jocelyn. Would he score? He just yes, does. It does. It's a goal. Devon Jocelyn. I said it, ladies and gentlemen. John Michael would have had his hands full, and Devon Jocelyn can't keep him out of the game. Indeed, indeed. In the 10th yep. minute of this one. Defense force has already started on the board. Defense force, and you see Central FC looking confused there. All the players upset with each other, but it was on the card. Defense force was threatening. That one just here. Yeah, the cheerleaders calling for Central FC to up the tempo. They not they seem not to be finding themselves inside the the other teams. Is that Carter? Yes, playing it to Devon Jocelyn, his partner. Okay, and it's an offside. Offside. I think if the ball was left for Carter, he would have been on. With a cheeky header. And he's tackled again by Corey Rivers, who receives a yellow card. First yellow card of the game. That man right there has not much work to do because of his defense thus far. Kevin Graham and goal for defense force. This is an opportunity now for Kerry and defense force looking inside plays the ball inside oh not a good clearance by mr benjamin free waving play on rivers setting it up devon is that carter being released he was he released cool keeping by john michael yeah. but john michael williams proved why he's the number one for this country And it's, a, a goal. it's a goal! A misread ball from the goalkeeper. He went out for it, but he did not get his hands on it. And it played. It's a goal for Central FC tying the game in 45 minutes into injury time, and it's all tied up going into the half time break. Seeing the fourth official telling the coaches one minute left here, one minute in added on time. And just on the stroke of added on time, Kintero there coming in with a streaking header. Nicely done there, but poor judgment by Graham. And it's in the back of the net. 
one apiece, like you bring to the half with a, with a one apiece score line. It's going to be a good half, Marada. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting second half because now Central FC goes into the changing room with a lot of momentum. And they can come into the second half with a lot of fire. So we are, the defense force has to be careful. And probably try to get a goal as quick as they did in the first half. Put this game back into their hands. That's the end of the first half here at the Esley Cropper Stadium. Central FC scoring a goal on the brink of the half to equalize going to the half with some degree of momentum. Your thoughts on the first half, Narada? Oh, an excellent. Welcome back here to the, to the Hazy Crawford Stadium, sorry, for a second half action in this final matchup between Defense Force and Central FC. 1-1 one, one going into the half as Central FC was able to score in the 46th minute and equalize after Jevon Jostling scored in the 10th. And we see Benjamin getting all over the player. Quick kick taken into the box. A shot comes off. Can he slide in and it misses? Mere inches from the post. Hi, Kerry Joseph is going the other way. Plethora of players in an offside positions as his head is up and this could be dangerous. This could be extremely dangerous at his poor. Extremely dangerous. A puzzle going on there in the back. And it, the, def the defense of Central FC is... bomb but it goes over. Marvin, who's setting up the players. And there we see him. Shot goal! And it's an amazing goal! Winchester solidifying why he was selected on the national team. An excellent goal. Calmly taken and placed into the back of the net. Graham had no chance. And Central SC is in a frenzy right now. Ronald Winchester coming off of national team duty. Turning and smartly knocking that, that left footer back in the into the goal with some four and a half minutes left in this one. And I think the rhythm section is sensing the end. Here yeah, John Michael makes a prolific save. Stretched out. Graham with a one-handed save to his right. Excellent save by and that's, it. and that's the whistle and the Central SC players run onto the field. Central SC are the 2013 SCB Finals. Their supporters are also running onto the field, Narada. Yes, but they're being stopped, but the gates are being opened and they're off. Even the cheerleaders are jumping the barriers as the gates are closed. So Central FC winning this game 2 1. One goal scored by Defense Force by Devon Jocelyn. And two goals by Central FC. Having.